Oh, this one's fascinating. It's a bit more theoretical, this one, but like, fuck it, I'm interested. I don't know if we're going to have a... Not that we always have a good answer, but this one's a bit more... I prepared a deliberately bad answer. <laughs> so, why do you think so many people on the left use the term emotional labor incorrectly to describe them processing their feelings in relationships? When it was first initiated, uh, when it was first initially coined to talk about the way people are expected to maintain or suppress emotions while working. Do you want to stop? I can do, I can do. Just you have your notes. Marianne always brings notes. I never bring notes. I feel like the bad kid. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, but you you come up with things on a fly. That's really impressive. So I guess I will read this out a little bit just because it's it's kind of fascinating. I actually didn't know that time emotional labor was coined in like 1983. That's like a long time ago. So emotional labor, um, uh, so basically there's there is an author called, I want to say age, oh sorry, A. Anton, perhaps, Rothschild, argues in 1983 that within this commodification process, service workers are estranged from their own feelings in the workplace. Uh, but in the recent interview, Rothschild, oh, actually, it, it's, I think it's a she, actually, said she was horrified by some people's, house, by some people's opinion that housework, uh, that basically uh, housework or women's issues are centered around this interpretation of work. So basically, she wrote this whole um, incredible, well, I guess, incredible at the time, uh, te- text about how emotional labor is a process that workers find themselves in, or it's an act- set of actions that workers find themselves in whenever they're having to use, yeah, I guess, um, rather than like physical labor, well, yeah, I guess, literally, emotional labor, whether that's in service industries and or care work, uh, similar industries like that, or um, sometimes, yeah, I guess, front of house um, industries as well, um, to, 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 to remain at the job, to be better at the job, they have to create this other persona that is, that is, that is not yes. real as such. And yet, I suppose in history now, well, in the last 36 years, we have, um, this word has definitely found a new meaning. But that's very worse. recent. That's like in the last, like, I would say four or five years, we've started uh, using it like yes. explicitly to talk about interpersonal dynamics. Yes, precisely. Yeah. And or, um, yeah, or really, really uh, uh, assigning it to, to mostly care issues and, and whether that's at home or definitely relationships and stuff like that. And so I guess the person here is asking whether that's good politics, what does this mean? Um, and yeah, it's fascinating. I actually didn't know that this also mm. that this term had such a long history. But what it means is that and we're like kind of clued in people in the left. The fact that even we didn't necessarily know about this. That means like the term is has now got a new meaning like that. I mean, that. I first came across its original purpose in relation to lush workers and how lush yeah. workers are expected to not only sell lush products, but be like, oh, my God, hey, how was your day? Let me massage your hands the second you go into the shop. And how for both customer and worker alike, that's just incredibly awkward and like yeah, not, yeah. not a good thing. They have thing. quotas in that. Yeah, they have quotas and they are expected to not only be doing their job, but be doing their job with enthusiasm and a smile on their face. And like, yeah, like also waitresses and such. But like, I hate going to Lushes because I'm like, I'm, someone is oh, going to yeah. be touching my hands in five seconds. It's terrible for yeah, both yeah, of us. Yeah. Like, so but like, I'm kind of torn on this because on one hand, I think it's really important that there is a term for that in the work related context, right? And in the like capitalist context of not only selling your time and selling your physical labor, but also selling your emotions, that's something needs to be taken seriously. And yet, I feel like the fact that it has been appropriated by like feminist struggles, by like dialogues around uh, like intimate like partner relations and putting the labor into both relations with, with a partner, but also with friendships and stuff like that, shows that there wasn't a term to pop- properly encapsulate that and that maybe then need that that was a ne- clearly a discussion that needed like pinpointing yes and i think that's only a good thing basically i think i think it would be useful to make a distinction between labor related emotional labor and that's interpersonal it, emotional right? labor but i think both are equally important like i use the term emotional labor to talk about friendships i do think sorry i'm just doing a bit of a rant now no, i have so many no, feelings please, about this emotional is, labor this is, this is how it should be i do think it's often misappropriated because at the end of the day if you're in a friendship that you don't want to be putting emotional energy into, you maybe shouldn't be in that friendship. And I do think there is an issue with people saying, this friend is taking my emotional labor right now, but that in a way makes you a fair weather friend. Like to be a true friend to someone, you kind of need to be there in the thick and the thin, unless you're just like a mate. 
Well, I don't have to also in relationships as well. Like, I mm. mean, basically, I guess they, they, then, then you person would be like, this is not really, it's not that someone else is taking a lot of your emotional labor. It's just that you're in a shitty relationship. <laughs> Yeah. Which kind of sounds harsh, but I mean, basically, I, I kind of, I worry that the critique and that this person also has a little bit is, is uh, you know how sometimes we, there is a specific reason why we have anti-fascist flag here, right? Because we want to tie in anti-fascism with feminist issues, right? Because we think that those two are very much uh, historically intertwined. Same way with labor issues, though, as well, like the amount of erasure of women's struggle in the workplace as well as very women specific uh issues that we're having to deal with um you know the fact that there are now conversations around that of yes of course fine it's fine it's now like kind of has become a feminist issue like i think that's something to celebrate so i worry yeah. that basically the way that we're framing this a little well the way that the question was framed a little bit it's just like hey mate like just kind of separate your like feminist emotional labor with like our marxist politics a little bit like because it's just See, I didn't read it like that. I read it more that they don't like that it's been applied to this, but not necessarily that they think that this is not an issue. I uh, I think basically the the what has happened is that we have a, such a like poverty of of of, of terms of yeah, of dictionary of issue. ways of talking. I also agree that emotional and labor and labor also has a very pr that word has a very proud history, with history that should not be undermined, um, and I think shouldn't be conflated by conflated with you know I don't know like my 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 partner didn't like talk to me about their sister coming over hence or like they didn't buy the presents or something hence I'm doing emotional label and then we're talking about like real people or, like I don't know in like really you no know, sometimes messed up industries having to to only perform that labor or they're out on the street if they get get like get like thrown out of the job you know so basically I think labor has a very very rich history so I don't think I think it shows that we have a poverty of terms that we can't have two separate words or two separate Well, terms. I guess like nowadays there's a lot more talk about like the phrase of like social reproduction to mean the kind of like household labor and such like that, right? Which is a good thing. But I do... But I mean, it's not a term that's caught on in like the liberal no, milieu, right? but I do... I don't know. I, I do think emotional labor is an important term because you end up in certain dynamics with friends or with like relationships where you are taking on a lot of another person's issues and it's somewhat it's expected that you should take on, say, all of their mental health issues and all of their this and this, yeah. and this and this because you're their friend or because you're their partner and the emotional toll it's taking on you is under-recognized because that's just what you do as a good friend or that's what you do as a good girlfriend or whatever. And so I do think there is, there should be a space for it to be used in that way. I don't think that everything you do for your partner should be referred to as emotional labor. Yeah, and also like I'll come to have, you know, once, if you think about it as well, like I think, the worst burden of emotional labor always uh, falls down on women of color because they always have to like basically you I know you look at Serena Williams or whatnot this, as, as soon as she like turns off the smile that's it you know she's aggressive and like I don't know she's yeah. all of that stuff so I think it's very much to be recognized that um, yeah, it's incredibly racialized and gendered absolutely yeah. yeah yeah but basically that and again there is there are huge uh, historical I guess, um, ties with, you know, uh, the of, of, of conversations surrounding, uh, you know, racial integration as such and uh, labor, labor integration and loans and all of that stuff. So again, like all these conversations about what I'm trying to say is that like, I guess f at first I was like, labor has this like Marxian proud history and that is just like white and male or whatnot. And now we're sort of mixing in mm. this like, these different things that's like oh feminism or yeah. like i don't know racist issues and all that stuff but like yeah it's fine the world has moved on we are now talking about these things and perhaps it is okay to to then include you know like labor as a much wider yeah as a much wider yeah. kind of understanding of what that is i think I so too so i think i like fundamentally not disagree with the questioner but i disagree with the angle they're taking towards the question i think we I think. could have a different time just because like as i say i think there is a there is should be a real separation between like the life and death sort of situations that workers are going through yeah. if they get like i don't know kicked yeah. out of house and like a lot of i don't know i see like a lot of like rich celebrities or whatever being like oh hey um i don't know like my rich boyfriend i don't know like it's not give it it's not like washing up the dishes or something like that like and i don't know if we should be using the 
term for both yeah of and that's why like i said like i think like the rise of social reproduction of the theory that people are engaging with to talk about the like care issues and the home and the domestic issues that come alongside any kind of interpersonal thing is really important i i don't know i just feel like emotional labor is such a good term for like i mean you know that like i was in the situation where i was putting a lot of emotional energy into a friend who had a lot of like mental health issues and I had to actually at some point realize that it was taking such a huge toll on me and I hadn't been acknowledging that because I thought I was being a good friend which I was but it then led to me yeah not realizing that it was emotional labor it was like emotionally exhausting me in very a real real sense so I worry about it being like bandied around superfluously by these people but I still don't think that we should not apply it to social dynamics I think we could have new better more creative Terms because I think there is something like feminism, feminist and radical about recognizing the labor that is social and the labor that is like interpersonal and emotional that isn't just to do with the work you do at but a it's job. Just not the, it's just not, it isn't the same, kind of isn't the same. This is the problem, you're a syndicalist. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, not to say that I've also haven't been taxed by all, tax, again, another, <laughs> word, another word that we use interchangeably in our like, commodified capitalist existences and you know our commodified social existences yeah yeah so uh conversation to be continued i think if you can think of a better word let us know and we'll publicize it no that's true i mean i, I think it has been co-opted sometimes by people that yes. just like i don't know yeah like oh i don't know like i had to actually be there for my friend emotional labor yes. damn yeah my friend told me they're upset about something i'm now exhausted by my emotional labor yeah. it's like like that then maybe you shouldn't used. have friends yeah or it happens in relationships as well yes. like oh shit like yeah i had to be yeah i don't know and like, like at some point you're going to be that person too and you're going to be the one that needs your friends to listen to you exactly. rant about the same person or event or thing a hundred times and you're gonna yeah I mean, I have been the person on both ends of that. That's and true. Like, I mean, it's important for us to, to question these terms, but it's yeah. also important for us to have the empathy whenever, you know, we're the ones doing yeah. it up or the other way around. I don't know. It's just like when... Yeah. And it's fine to take a step back when you're emotionally exhausted by a friend. Of course it is. Or a, or a partner or whatever. Like, to be like, I'm actually, like, really just out out of emotional energy right now. Can we, like, redo this later or can we have a but break? is it emotional energy or is it just... I think it is. I think it's the emotional. Maybe it's less the labor word, but it's more like emotional. Because like you, you're actually like helping someone out, right? Yeah. You're not necessarily investing emotions in that. I mean, you can be. But worrying about someone that you care for is like draining. I find Are it draining. Are you worrying though, or you're more like coming up with like? So what we're doing right now, for instance. Yeah, this is sometimes emotional labor. Emotional labor. <laughs> no, but is it? No, sometimes, sometimes it, it is. is. Not always. But, but like, it's not the same say, thing. like, for example, you had the same concern day after day after day, and you came to me and, ex and expected and wanted me to be there to talk you through it day after day after day. I think it would be fair to say that that, 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 that is friendship, and it's a good friendship. thing, and it's what I want to do. But if I was at some point to say, actually, Mary, I'm like, right now, I just need like a me day, like, then uh, that would be also valid. Yes, but I don't know if emotional labor is the word to... Anyways, but yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it. Anyways, but I think it's sort of like, if we had an answer here right now, I think we could like break Twitter and become like yeah. PhDs, you know, and like write this whole thing of why, why this term should be changed or why there yeah. is a, you know... So if you want to come up with a term and give it to us to make us famous, that would be sick. <laughs>